Hello internet people, in this video I'll show you how to create a subdomain in GoDaddy cPanel, then I'll show you where you can find the subdomain folder in File Manager or FTP software, and then how to add a WordPress to your subdomain. Whoosh! Tip sweat punch! Alright, so to get started we need cPanel. And you get there by going to godaddy.com and then on top sign in and then enter your username and password. Once you've done that, you'll see a screen like this one. Scroll down until you see web hosting and click on manage. And again, click on cPanel admin. And here is the cPanel dashboard. And all you have to do is get down, get down, get down to domains and click on subdomains. Here you can create a subdomain. So in my case, I'll type in business. And then if you click somewhere else outside of the field, you can see that the document root is actually populated. And then the second field domain, the primary domain you want the subdomain to be under. So since I chose punchsalad.com, my subdomain will be called business.punchsalad.com. And then click on create. Once it's done, we need to go back to cPanel's homepage. So just click on the logo up here and open up the file manager. Or at this point, you can pause the video and open up your FTP software and just find your root folder. And now here, if you go to public HTML and then you can see here, I have business. That's the subdomain we just created. I have other domains here. These are add-on domains. So if you would have added the subdomain to an add-on domain, then the subdomain would be inside the add-on domains folder. So for example, bfeedyblog.com would have a subfolder called business. Okay, I really hope I didn't sound like this. You are not you, you're me. No shit. But in my case, since it's the my primary domain, it's on the top level. So as you can see, the folder is pretty much empty, nothing there. So let's create a quick HTML file. I'll, I'll speed up this part of the video and I'll create a, just a simple HTML file here. So I'll call it just index.html and then I'll copy paste very basic HTML. I just want to show you how that the subdomain actually works. And then if I go now to business.punchsalad.com, you'll see hello world. Obviously you want something more complicated than this. Oh really? So now I'll show you how to install a WordPress on your subdomain. If you want to know how to add multiple domains to one WordPress installation, check out the video that appears on your screen now. To install WordPress on your subdomain, all you have to do is go to cPanel and then scroll down, down until you come to web applications. And here you can click on WordPress. And here's a installation of WordPress. Uh, here on top, just click on install this application. And then if you scroll down here on the first in location, choose the subdomain we just created. So there's a bunch of domains that I have, but here's the business one. And then next field directory, I will just delete this blog part because otherwise the WordPress is installed only to the folder of blog, but I want to have the whole site on WordPress. Arnie, how do we delete stuff? You've just been erased. Then the rest, uh, you can skip all the other fields except automatic updates. Personally, I don't like them to update automatically, so I'll disable it, but it's up to you if you want to keep it. The rest you can scroll down until you are admin username and password. 
So just write down these two so that you can log in later on. But you can also create new WordPress users from cPanel so you're not you, you won't get stuck. And then scroll down to the bottom and just hit on install. And then it will load the theme. It doesn't take too long. But once it's done, you can just refresh your page and you'll see that it's a, a bit more fancy. And basically this is default setup of uh, WordPress. And if you go to WP admin, then you'll see the login screen and you just put in the password and the username that was created just a moment ago. And then you have a WordPress on your subdomain. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. If you want to learn how to set up an easy WordPress theme, check the first video. And if you want to make your subdomain super fast, check out the second video. Whoosh!